Good morning, Luke, once again. Uh, morning, uh, Fitzpatrick, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Did uh, I pronounce your name correctly? Yeah, yeah, yeah you did. Though, though, though most of my students, they call me coach. It came from the word coach Carter. I don't know if you have watched the movie by uh, Samuel L. Jackson. When ah, I was okay. in Livingstone, I, I, mm -hmm. when I used to stay in Livingstone, I started the school called Hard Knocks Tuition Cafe. And I okay. produced over 200 chartered accountants. The school became oh, that's brilliant. Big. Yeah, that's, yeah, I used to have almost 100% pass rate. So they started calling me Coach Carter. So don't get surprised when you find people calling me Coach Coach. <laughs> coach, oh, Coach, all right. I'll call you Coach as well. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll just uh, put my video on for two minutes so that you can see who, yeah, yeah, uh, who you are coaching. Mm -hmm. So, look what we'll be doing uh, because this is a very, it, it is actually a crust program. Uh, yes. During the week, I'll be sending standards and maybe a short video. Okay. Yes. So that over the weekends, we actually concentrate on big topics. Next weekend, they will go for the group cash flows. I'll, con I'll also be sending notes on group cash flows. Once we are done mm -hmm. with group cash flows, we go to consolidated. Actually, we start with consolidated group accounts. Then we go to group cash flows. Then we go to financial mm -hmm. analysis. Then we start looking at the other small, small things because those, they always come. They are always there. And they All come. right. Mm -hmm. I don't want All right, that's to right. miss it. I want you to get good results. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I hope so too. Yeah, sure. <laughs> mm. Okay, so like I've always done it in all these years, I always want to start from the basic of accounting, which is the conceptual yeah. and regulatory framework, because that is where everything is built. Mm -hmm. We have a privilege to look at two uh, companies in Africa. That is a Nugu uh, distribution company. Uh, it is in Nigeria, and I chose that specifically because I, I trained the students. I trained employees from a new good distribution company. Then okay. we'll also look at the Botswana Power Company. Again, I chose it because we are in Botswana, but also because I'm actually in the energy sector. So those are the things okay. that we look at. So, so that we relate what you are going to learn to what mm -hmm. is actually on the ground. I my training uh, mode is very easy. I use a lot of humor, a lot of funny examples, but mm -hmm. always try to memory peg those funny examples so that when you get into the exam, you remember mm -hmm. those funny examples and you'll be able to memory peg them and write in the correct way. That's fine. Mm -hmm. And I've always said it, look, that passing an exam is the easiest thing to do because you just need to be semi-illiterate. Yes. You need to you need not to know 50% of the stuff for you to pass the exam. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Is my video on that side? No, 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 it's not. Maybe internet is not that good. Yeah, maybe, it, yeah. Because it's a bit cloudy here and it's, uh, we, we get a bit of uh, poor connectivity when it's like that. Mm. It's fine, I'll, I'll, I'll see you some other time when your internet sure. is okay. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. So my lessons, the way I teach is like I said, I use humor and it is always very interactive. So I'll start by asking a question. Why do organizations prepare financial statements? Let's, let's have a chat. Um, I think mainly uh, for them to see um, the financial health of the business. And if it's a public uh, listed companies also for, for the uh, regulatory purposes as well as um, um, international financial reporting uh, standards requirements um, as well as um, just basically I think for them to to see the financial health of the company so look if 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 there was no 
if there were no regulations. Yes. If there were no regulations, would there still be need to prepare financial statements? Yes, there will be, because you need to know uh, the financial um, position of the company at any point in time versus any uh, objectives that you would have set um, according to your strategy. So you need to know where uh, where you are. So uh, basically you need uh, to know if you're making a, a profit or you're making a loss. So there would be, a, um, besides regulation, there will be uh, that need uh, for us to prepare those financial statements. So who needs to know the financial health of the company? Who, who is that who, who, who that you keep on mentioning? Okay, uh, number one, it will be the, the, the shareholders, the people that pumped in money uh, or invest, uh, that invested through that vehicle, that, which is the, that firm. And secondly, obviously the employees need to know if they're meeting uh, the set objectives um, uh, for, for the company. Obviously the shareholders are interested in the dividend um, and um, the investors, if it's a public company, obviously they, they, uh, all the investors need to, to, to know um, the financial position of the company. So when and they get also when, yeah. they, mm -hmm. continue, and mm -hmm. there is also that uh, feel good uh, factor with if you are in the service industry or you are producing a product, uh, if you just publish if uh, your 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 results, people want to be associated with people that are uh, are doing well. So obviously to have that knock on effect with with um, it's intangible though, but uh, basically people would want to. To, to know um, how the company is doing. And if you're doing well, uh, you will also attract the, the best uh, skills as well. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Yeah. Uh, financial statements, I've, I've seen it, <laughs> especially in Africa and SMEs mm -hmm. in particular, they, they prepare financial statements just because the bank has told them to prepare financial statements when they want to go and ask for, for, for a loan or for money. And, and, and I, I ran a very small consultant firm called Roy Consult Advisory a Firm, a return mm -hmm. on investment. And, and I've seen this particular situation where some SMEs would come to us to ask, say, for a business plan. And I've always asked them, why, why do you want a business plan? No, it's because at the bank, we want to get a loan of 2 million kwacha. So they have asked us <laughs> that we should actually have this. For them, they're looking yeah. at it from the regulatory side of it, that this yeah. has been asked and we need to actually provide. And I've always told them, you know what? A business plan is like a seatbelt, a car seatbelt. Yes. Yeah. Do not put on a seatbelt because you are scared of a traffic officer or a police. Mm -hmm. Put on a seatbelt because it is safe for you. And in an event that there's an accident, there's a chance, a high chance that you're going to survive. Yes. So most SMEs, they do business plans because the bank has asked. They do these audited where they go to small auditing firms for them to prepare uh, audited financial statements. And even when you look at those audited financial statements, you will find that there's, 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 there's a lot that needs, needs to be done. But they are doing it because they need to tick the box. But the box, it's not yeah. supposed to work like that. It's supposed to work in the way you have actually explained it. Yes. There are two types of investors. We have debt investors and equity investors. So mm -hmm. if I have a business and I decide to organize more funding, and in this case, I go to the bank, ideally the bank becomes an investor. But the yes. only thing they are doing that they are investing the money in debt rather than in equity, which is even much safer. Mm -hmm. And this is why if you see most of these firms that are, are or may be founded by either a family or just individuals, they normally get a greater portion of it, they'll have it as shareholders loan. 
because then what they are yeah. saying that yes we have put in this money but we are going to split it it's not all going to come in as equity <laughs> a greater portion of it will come in as shareholders loan so that we are able mm. to get these monies before the taxman comes to get it yes so for there are different stakeholders, like you have mentioned, you have employees. Employees would want to know whether the company is still green or it is almost going into red. And the, each stakeholder is actually, <laughs> has the right to make an informed but informal decision. So an employee would decide to go and look for a job somewhere else. Maybe go to Malawi, go to Botswana, go to, to South Africa, and they like, because they have realized that the, the company that they are working for may actually go bankrupt in end time soon. So they need to have access to these financial statements. And, and that is one of the reasons that should motivate the company in formulating or preparing these financial statements. But most importantly, it's also about investors. Because if you're an equity yeah. investor, if you're an equity investor, meaning that you, you have a stake in that particular company in terms of shareholding, and unfortunately for equity shareholders, they only get dividends or returns from I, the I, company. I, I, I coach. Hi, coach. Hi, hi look. Uh, just, just a second, uh, my wife is calling. She's oh. saying it's a bit urgent. Okay, 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 okay. I'll wait. Mm -hmm. 